So basically, as it relates to the website, if you start clicking around the internet, you'll start to very quickly see sites that are pleasing and sites that aren't. And a lot of times, because uh, people perceive um, website development to be expensive, you know, they hire somebody who might do a good job, might do a decent job, sometimes do a terrible job, and you kind of like get that feeling like, oh, this is what we're saddled with right now. You know, we don't have any more uh, budget to allocate to this. Um, but if your site's not designed to convert, then there's really no point in having it. And also, if, you're, if your site doesn't elevate the perceived value of, of who you are, then you should, probably shouldn't have it either. What if you had the most amazing academy, the most amazing facility, the most amazing restaurant, the most amazing tournament program, and when people go to your site, it looks like just the opposite. You know, so it's all about perception, it's all about perceived value. Social media. So we had some people in here that were engaging in social media. How many clubs are engaging in social media? Private clubs and also daily fee facilities? Are, are there any clubs that haven't seen the value in doing it or don't understand it? Or Does everyone here think that it's a valuable resource? It, it really is because where, where the eyeballs are is where your, your product and service needs to be. The whole world is, is operating within social media. You know, my parents are on social media. My uncle, who just turned 70, is, is on Facebook more than I am. That's where consumers are. You know, so maybe five years ago, it would just be, you know, people throwing up pictures of them partying or whatnot. You know, trying to say, oh, I'm in a relationship, I'm out of a relationship, and you just go, oh, jeez, I don't want to be a part of this. But the reality is that all those people that are on there now, you know, represent the people that are in this room, that represent you know, the people that are filling a, uh, a baseball stadium. They're all there, it's a cross section of society. And all those people are surfing the internet and all those people have credit cards and all those people want to buy something. So the big thing is you have to look at social media not as a way to keep, keep people updated on your personal life, but as a way to be able to promote your product and your service. And there's a, a very um, unique way of doing that so that you turn people on versus turning them off. So these are some of the uh, uh, Jeff Ritter Golf social media. Uh, we've got my uh, Twitter page on the left. I've got a blog on the, the bottom right-hand side. I'll talk a little bit more about Facebook. And then the top left-hand side is my, uh, my YouTube channel. But you can see how everything is cohesively branded. Um, a lot of people that find your website, they might find it first through social media. So they go, oh, here's a Facebook page. A friend of mine liked this. So if your Facebook page looks like garbage, or your, your Twitter page you know, has a picture of you, you know, sitting in the backyard playing with your dog. I mean, they're not going to think that you're a serious business. They're going to say, this is ridiculous, even if your website is great. So that's why connection points, they all have to be of, of high quality so that when they engage with you, they want to go farther, they want to explore more. Okay, so here's the important cycle as it relates to social media. It's called a CTIO cycle. It stands for content, traffic, influence, and offer. So the number one thing you gotta be able to do is you have to produce interesting, relevant content. What does that mean? It means produce something that people wanna read. So if you're a golf instructor, give away free advice. A tip that's helpful, it'll post a video. Say, hey, uh, if you're going out to play golf today, uh, one tip that you can take to the tee is to focus on uh, balance and rhythm, or whatever. And people will read that, and they will do it, and it's going to help somebody, and they're going to come back and they're going to post on your page, hey, thanks so much for the tip, that was great. So they become a fan of yours. Uh, if you post something uh, as a facility um, that's related to um, you know, understanding more about uh, different kinds of turf, you know, at our course, we have these kinds of greens, and this is what that means based on these weather conditions. You know, people are going to see value in that. So there's a lot of things you can do. It just has to be befitting of your area of expertise. But make sure that it's relevant. Make sure that it's entertaining. Make sure that it's that it's useful. Um, another great thing to do uh, to try and get people involved uh, is to create uh, contests and promotions through your page. So, for example. Um, if you can get enough people to follow your page, then you're creating more of an audience, right? So with Nike Junior Golf, they want me to get 50 kids a week for almost eight weeks into these camps out of Pebble Beach. It's a lot of kids, and it's my job to get them in there. 
And uh, the last couple of years, the numbers have been going down and down and down. They hired me to come in because they thought that with my efforts here that I could turn this camp business, business around. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a contest based around sending our winner, 14-year-old you know, Johnny Johnson, on a free trip to Pebble Beach. Pretty cool, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on YouTube. I'm going to say, my name is Jeff Fritter. I'm the National Director of Instruction for Nike Golf Schools and Junior Camps. And here's our unique offering. So kids are going to send in a video of their golf swing. And they're going to tell us why they love golf and why they want to come to Pebble Beach. And then what they're going to do is they're going to go and they're going to like Jeff Ritter Golf. Right? So Facebook is going to like Jeff Ritter Golf. And they're going to post their video on my page. And then they're going to tell all of their friends to go to Jeff Ritter Golf, like Jeff Ritter Golf, and then like their video. So you just click a little button, like. I like this, I like this, I like this. Everyone can only vote once, one like. And then at the end of two months, we're going to see who has the most votes. And we're going to pick a winner. And we're going to send you to Pebble Beach. And you're going to have the time of your life. We'll do a little interview with you there uh, as, the, as the winner. And now what has happened? Number one, kid got a great trip. Number two, people thought it was really cool that a kid got a great trip. Number three, how many people now are following Jeff Ritter Golf? More specifically, how many people are following Jeff Ritter Golf because they are fans of junior golf? They have a niece, a nephew, a son, or a daughter. So what have I done? I've pulled in my exact target market. right? The same market that I'm going to sell stuff to as I develop junior golf based products. As we create more opportunities to do more Nike junior golf programs. You know, so just because it's, it's Nike and it's a big company, it's not Nike at all. This is, this is me doing this, right? This is you doing this. So you can have a special offer you know, as it relates to uh, giving away a free foursome. You know, giving away um, a daily fee facility. Imagine how many people would follow your page if you gave somebody um, a summer's worth of free golf. Just one person. So what? But now all the people that you bring in that like your facility, now they're all there. You had them held captive. Maybe everyone that comes in, you don't give them the whole, the whole enchilada. But because they like the page, they get something of value in return. I'll come out, we'll give you a free bag of balls. I mean, these are things that, you know, they don't really cost us any money, but they bring people to our facility. And people like stuff like that.